Ah, well, I'm always used to this type of stuff anyway. I've cried on almost 20 years being a Blazer fan, and I, I'm, I'm used to this type of stuff, so. Well, shockingly, even though there was no Dame or Whiteside, the Blazers did kind of decent. They just kind of did decent. I think they did. Look at the stats. CJ McCollum, 37 points. Tolliver, meh. Hood didn't do a lot of shooting. I really thought he was, but he didn't. But he did decent. Carmelo, I felt like, did better a bit. I would give Carmelo today maybe a C plus or a B. Gary Trent Jr., he did decent. Scal did incredible. I mean, five blocks, one steal, 22 points, and 12 rebounds. Honestly, I would not be surprised if people are interested in Gary Trent Jr. or Scal because they're young and they are they haven't been in the NBA that long. So, Najir Little, I, I do like what Little has been doing. Kent, once again, another disappointment. Mario, surprisingly, didn't took a shot. Simons didn't have a big game. Just didn't have that type of game. And then you look at Milwaukee. Giannis is what we expect. Bledsoe is what I expected. Matt Wesley. Man, you still... You just like killing us, don't you? Pat, you are just like killing us, don't you? Do you? Robin, you just... Wait a minute. One, two, three. Two, three Blazers. Three ex-Blazers. You kidding me? Is this the Milwaukee Blazers now? Is this what we're going to call this team? But yeah, Milwaukee overall, they did pretty well. They did pretty well. Shooting wise, Portland Shang now beat them in field goal range a uh, field goal. Sorry, field goal percentage and three point percentage. And eleven blocks. Personally, this Blazer the Blazers, even though they lost, they didn't do that bad. But really though, still they gotta make a move. They really still have to make a trade move, and hopefully they do get like a Kevin Love or a Gallinari. And personally, if you're going to trade someone, you might as well trade for the teams that are rebuilding, like OKC or Cleveland, those type of teams that are rebuilding, or even the Knicks. Any one of their power forwards would be nice, but still, like you get the idea I'm saying, though. The best chance of them trying to make a trade is right now at this point, ask for a team that's rebuilding to see if they could acquire that one player that they need. The one position they just need, they still need another big guy, and it's mostly a power forward. And I wouldn't be surprised if Scal becomes like a strong power forward until Zach Collins comes back. But still, yeah, I, I was actually kind of surprised we lost like this. Especially when you outplay them in the second half. I mean, only one quarter is what they beat us, really. So, really, wasn't a bad game, even though we lost. They still played it well enough decent, and really, we'll see. And, and also, Melo and Whiteside, I mean, sorry, uh, Melo and Dame have not played each other yet. Dame should be back in Cleveland, and then we'll see if Dame and Melo can be, you know, a really good connection with CJ involved. We'll see that on Saturday against the Cleveland Cavaliers.